Bryson. Down court. He elevates. He flies. He slams with two hands. Hi again and welcome to the Buffalo Stampede, the basketball edition. I'm Mark Johnson of 850 KOA Radio, your play-by-play voice for the Buffaloes. Joined now by sophomore Xavier Johnson. Buffalo has got another nice week. 2-0 on the week. They've won now six in a row. They're 6-1 in the season since that season opening loss to Baylor. And uh, actually, uh, first of those two ball games was a very tough game against UCSB. You guys won it uh, by a count of a 76-68, but uh, that was an awful tough game for Colorado. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, any t- our coach always says any team could beat us, you know. Mm-hmm. So we had come out every day ready to play. Um, and most of those games, we didn't come out ready to play, and that's why the score was so close. But um, we were still able to come out with the victory and move on to the next game. The Gauchos, like a, a far too many of Buff opponents recently, were hitting some three-pointers, 11-28, of in fact, from outside the arc. That has become an issue for Colorado. I bet coaches talk to you about that a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> even today, our defensive principle was to um, guard a three-point line. A lot of teams are hitting a lot of threes on us, and that means we got to extend our defense and be able to play all around. Talk about the principles that that coach talks to you about. He frequently, during interviews with us, will talk about, I want to see my players shaking hands with the opposition when they're shooting those jump shots. Yeah, definitely. Um, that means he just wants us closer to our man. Every shot that goes up, we need to be able to shake hands with him. So ball releases our hands, we should be right there on it. How much has the rule changes affected what you guys do defensively uh, on the perimeter? What I mean by that, you know, the new hand checking rules has made it very tough to defend. You got to move your feet, can't use your hands at all. So, ha- how, have you guys defensively been reluctant to get up too tight sometimes on those shooters? And has that affected them? It definitely has. You know, um, the new rules, we can't touch anybody pretty much if they're driving. So, we have hands completely off, and um, that creates like a little more space for my defender. And that's why. I guess you could say the three-point margin is higher than usual. Yeah, <laughs> Buffalo's have certainly been working on that. Can this be a good defensive team? With as athletic and long as you guys are, you know, both yourself and a lot of the uh, the freshmen, a lot of length on this team. Can this be a good defensive team? It definitely can. You know, we got um, a six-six point guard. You know, not many teams can say they have that. And um, we have Ski, who's very fast in the perimeter, and we have Mia also on the other side. And our, our arm span is very wide. So, yeah. I mean, if we wanted to, we could do, we could be great. This is your first ball game back uh, playing against UCSB. Missed a couple of ball games after getting dinged up in practice. How was it getting back out there? How, how were the lungs uh, after your first trip up and down the court? It felt good. It felt pretty good, you know. Um, the first game back, I was a lot winded, you know. I was really tired, and um, but, but Coach saw that and was able to get me in and out real quick. So um, I was able to still look good out there while I played. X had uh, eight points, in fact, against the Gauchos. Spencer did what he led the Buffaloes with, with 21. You know, Spencer, I thought, started the season a little bit slow. But the last maybe three, four ball games, you can kind of see him coming into his own catch. Yeah, definitely. You know, Spencer's a great player, and he knows exactly what he's doing. So when he's out there on the court, he just either he's trying to get his teammates open or he's trying to get his, himself a shot or just trying to do whatever he needs to do to get the win. You so. know, as young as this team is, do you guys kind of look to him a little bit, being that it's not a senior-heavy team, but he is a junior and he's been out there and had so much success? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's one of the old, older people on the team, you know. We have um, Spencer and Ski and then Ben, and that's our I pretty much our senior class that, that, that play and that we look up to. So we just got to be able to just focus on them and follow their lead. How about yourself now? Is, is what, What's the difference being a sophomore, being a guy that's been through the wars, if you will, a time or two? It feels good, you know. That just builds a lot more confidence, you know. And, like, you feel like you know um, the game plan better. You feel like you know um, coaches' strategies and, and you know what to expect. So we're able to come out there and just be a lot more relaxed and in sure. game flow. Know what you're doing a little bit. So the yeah. Buffaloes get the Gauchos after uh, being down in that ball game and obviously giving up some three-pointers. Now they come back with a big game against Harvard. Now Harvard may not have a reputation when you think of some of the better basketball programs around the country, but boy, the last three or four years under Tommy Amaker, they've been very good. That was a quality opponent you guys knocked off. It was not an easy ball game. Yeah, it definitely was. Harvard knows exactly what they're doing. They're Ivy League school, but that's no credit to the basketball skills. They're a great basketball team. They know exactly what they're doing. They have a great coach. and. Uh, we're just lucky to come out with the win. Buffalo's win at 70 to uh, 62 and trailed 35 of the 40 minutes in this contest. Talk a little bit about the slow start against Harvard. You guys really came out of the block slowly. They came out, hit some big shots early, and it was an uphill battle the rest of the way. Yeah, um, we came out real slow. We came out um, relaxed because we thought it would be an easy win because in our own house, but um, Harvard had other plans for us. So yeah. we came out um, timid and slow and uh, we weren't able to hit a lot of shots. But also, I think it was a factor the, the refs. They weren't calling a lot of. Um, Touchy, touchy fouls, yeah. if you could say. And uh, so we have to adjust to that and um, play more physical. Buffs were down 14, in fact. 12 at the half, 14 early in that second half. And i got to be honest with you, doing the broadcast, Scott and I were talking, and I thought, 
the bus might be learning a lesson and a loss here. Well, were you guys ever wondering about if you can come, you know, climb the hill all the way back and get this win? We definitely did. Um, so coming out of the second half, pretty much, we just knew that um, they were exhausted. Yeah. You could see on their face, you could hear when they're breathing, and um, we were able to, I mean, thanks to good conditioning, we were able to come out and uh, just keep pressuring them and keep the pace fast and get a lot of layups. Ted Boyle said you fall back to the level of your preparation. How many times did you guys hear that? And I guess he was kind of questioning about maybe your guys' mental preparation for a game like this. Yeah, we've, we've heard that ever since um, we played Arkansas State. Mm. So um, we just got to be able to just come out, no matter who's our opponent, just come out and play them like we're playing Kansas, you know, and just be able to come out and just give it all we got. You know, as Colorado came back in that ball game around the five-minute mark of uh, the, the second half, there were some big three-pointers by this guy right here, but I, I think really the comeback, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but I think the <laughs> comeback really struck in the defensive end. It did, yeah. Um, our defense, we just locked down, you know. That's what our coach preaches. Um, defensive rebounding wins games. So if we get stops and they can't score, then we win the game. Okay, take us to the three-pointers. You had a couple of big ones, both right there in front of coach over there in the sideline. Yeah, um, I mean, there is, I think our first one, they were, they were playing zone on Wesley. And uh, I just moved into the gap, and I was able to hit the open threes. Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Huh? Yep. Are you a confident three-point shooter? I definitely am. Yeah. I'm a confident three-point shooter. I mean, I've been working on it for about, I guess you could say, two years so far. I've sure. really hard. And I've got Coach Prelo, who always pushes me every day to be great in shooting. So I was able to just hit a lot of shots. So what do the young Buffaloes learn in a game like this against a very good opponent like Harvard? Anybody can beat you, you know, and everyone who plays you, there's a, there's a target on their back. So we have to be able to come out and just be able to be ready to play and to be able to fight through adversity and come out with Ws. Is it is it sometimes maybe not so much the opponent as you guys need to learn to play at a high level at all times against anybody? Yeah, because yeah. it, it doesn't matter who your competition is, because anybody can beat you. It doesn't matter if it's Arkansas State or if it's Kansas. Anybody can have the will and the power to beat anybody nowadays. Uh, 10,000, in fact, here for that ball game on Saturday. How much did the, you know, the students weren't going to be around. They were on yeah. break. How much did that crowd help you guys? That, that really surprised me, you know, because yeah. school's out. I didn't think anybody was really going to come to the game, but came out of the tunnel second half, and it, it was it was, it was was live in here. So I was really happy to just see everybody just cheering, supporting us, even when we weren't down. And, we like that a lot. You know, a young player like X, all he knows is winning here at the University of Colorado, and in particular at the Coors Event Center. It hasn't always been that way. Since Tad Boyle <laughs> has taken over, the Buffaloes are 50-7 and seven in this building. That's what nice. is it about what's going on here at the Coors Event Center that makes it so tough for a team to come in and win? I think it's I think it's mostly it's going to be the, I'm gonna say the fans in the atmosphere, you know. Right. I mean, our fans are just so into the game. They're so focused on us, and it just – like, no matter what anybody says, that helps a lot. And when the students are here, it's just totally out of control, isn't it? <laughs> when the students are here, it's crazy. <laughs> and I just, we just love that support, and it helps us to get our, our wins. Hey, with all the excitement around this team right now, what's it like walking across campus as one of the starters for this team? I mean, a lot, a lot of people stopping you and talking to you about, about the team? Yeah, it's great, you know. Just it's like, yeah, even in our classroom, our teachers are like, a hey, good win the other day. And um, yeah. they're supportive of us, and they help us with anything we need help on, and it's great. So now the Buffaloes are on the road for a couple of ball games. You've got the Tuesday, or beg your pardon, the Saturday game coming up at Air Force, and then Tuesday on the road against Colorado State. Are these rivalry games? Is that the way you look at them, or are they just the next games on the schedule? I look at it as the next game on the schedule. Um, but I guess CSU would be our rivals. Um, so we just got to come out, play hard, and come out with the urgency that Harvard had against us. We got to come out and show them, what's, show them how we play from the beginning. Yeah, and, and it's never easy to win on the road, is it? No, it's not. Um, crowds against you, you have less fans. But you know, I think I think we, we play better when, when our backs are against the wall. That's when, that's when we're at our best as Buffaloes. All right, well they've got those two, and then of course the Kansas Jayhawks, and you're looking forward to that one. Oh, to everybody is, yes, the whole, <laughs> the whole world is, yeah. Yeah, hey, good job this season, keep up the good work. Thank you so much, sir. All right, sophomore Xavier Johnson. He and the Buffaloes have that Saturday game, that's a two o'clock game, down to the Springs against Air Force. So I'll be with the football team in Salt Lake City. Jerry, Jerry Schimmel's gonna pinch hit, along with Scott Wilkie. They'll have that game at AM 760, the Colorado Basketball Network starting at 1.30. And of course after that, then it's a game at Fort Collins against Colorado State. For uh, Xavier Johnson, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us. For everything Buffalo. Go to cubuffs.com and check out Buffs TV. We'll talk to you next time.